Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Today I am celebrating two different things. Uh, first of all, today is my two year anniversary on YouTube. Uh, two years ago has gone really fast. Also, just a few days ago we celebrated, we broke 50,000 subscribers on our channel and uh, very, very happy with that and I appreciate everyone who subscribed and watches all the videos. Uh, really, really do appreciate it a lot. And to celebrate that, I actually uh, wasn't expecting this, but we got a big package in the mail today. And it's, uh, show you, it is this. Uh, our friends over at Tamiya USA were kind enough to get us out a uh, early copy of the new M1A2 Abrams. This is the display model. Now, this kit is gonna be just like the, uh, the Yag Panther we built a while ago, where it was, it's designed to be an RC kit. So it's got a metal body, a lot of other metal parts on it as well or metal lower hull, I should say. The upper parts are all plastic. And uh, they've decided to come out with it as a display model first. And like I said, they were uh, kind enough to get us out one. I was going through some of the parts. It's a, uh, a fabulous looking kit inside. Uh, lots and lots of really cool features. It's gonna have the working torsion bar because it is gonna be an RC kit. So uh, now uh, what I'm gonna do on this video is basically just break down the parts and show you all. It's kind of like a preview video. And you know I'm going to build it, so uh, you don't have to worry about that. You'll, there'll be a video of the build very, very soon after this, probably from sometime within the next week. So very excited about that, so let's get started on it. Okay, what I thought I would do now was kind of just break down the parts real quick for you. This is going to be just a short video because I am very anxious to start on this. Uh, we have our ruler here, so this is 15 inches from here to here. We'll start off with the, uh, the metal body. As you can see, it's all preformed and stamped out for you. Next piece I want to show you is the upper hull. And it is massive. It's, it is probably about 18 inches long. Show you some of those parts right there. And it does have the anti-skid already molded onto the, uh, all the upper surfaces here as well. Then we have the uh, the upper and lower part of the turret. You can see it too is a, a massive piece, uh, almost 12 inches long, just for the uh, the upper and lower part of the turret. Very very big. I'm going to show you this part next. This is probably the most impressive thing that I found in the entire kit just when I opened it. Uh, these this is how the tracks come to you. These are are metal with rubber pads on it, just like the uh, the real tank, and it's kind of hard to describe but the way they feel in your hand is just incredible they're just absolutely beautiful the way the uh, Tamiya has made these you also get some uh, some nice photo etch for the bustle rack as well as some other grates down there big turned aluminum barrel and the uh, the recuperator that comes right up on top here is molded in plastic so that way we're not having to take a seam out of the entire barrel just just be the little piece up front here Excuse me. you also get a big bag of the suspension arms which are all metal as you can see right is in here because it is a real working torsion bar suspension on this kit as well And I'm not going to open these bags yet, but uh, just these are just the bags of the screws and the uh, the bushing and the torsion bars, things like that in there. I just don't want all the stuff falling all over the place until I actually start the kit. And of course the drive sprockets are uh, metal as well. Here's some of the screws. Here's the, the recuperator I was telling you about, as well as the 50 cal and the uh, 30 caliber machine gun, the gr smoke grenades. And some of the, uh, like the, the back end of the tank as well as some of the other pieces. What I'll do too is I will take some, just some regular shots of this, uh, of all these sprues if you're interested. Right after I'm done talking here, you'll be able to see all those individually. get a big bag of the uh, the rubber tires and these have to be cut out which when I first got the uh, the Yag Panther kit I was a little worried about it but as you can see like this this just pops right off here so you get a real nice uh, finish just to pop right on the rubber wheels right on the uh, the road wheels and 
Here are the parts that make up the bustle rack as well as the cables. And I haven't looked into the instructions yet, but you do get quite a few pieces for the, uh, the turret. And obviously this was for the, the motor drives originally too, because you'll be able to use the turret will turn and things once you actually get the, uh, if you do the RC version, I should say. Get some uh, big set of decals. Actually, just big decals, not too many decals to put on. And then quickly to show you lots of the, uh, the road wheels and pieces. And the last little sprue I want to show you guys is the uh, clear parts, which you've got your uh, light uh, faces as well as the vision blocks. And the front of the, uh, the, the end of the barrel is actually all clear as well. So, so I am going to make this one, uh, this video short and sweet, and I'm going to get to building on this. So I'm going to finish up the uh, the video right there. And remember, I will have individual shots of all the sprues right after this. So I want to thank you as always for watching. And uh, please stay tuned because this video will be out very soon.